Hey guys, Chris Fix here. I have this old drum brake and I want to refurbish it. I just got the inside turned, but the outside is a mess. I just want to go through the steps to show you how if you get your drums turned, how you can make it look new and last a lot longer and make sure it doesn't get seized like it did. And uh, if you want to see how I got this thing off and how bad it was, just click on the video up here. I'll, I'll, I'll show you that and uh, the links in the description too. Let's go see how I prep these after getting them turned. So the first thing we're going to want to do is clean these off with brake cleaner. Get all the oil and everything out of them. So we're just going to want to get all the rust off and we're going to spray paint it with high temperature paint. So here's what you're going to need to do this job. Obviously you have your brake drum but you want some sandpaper. Different grit sizes is good. This is 300. It would be good to have like somewhere 300-400. We have this wire brush. Get all the loose pieces of rust off. Brake cleaner, super important. You're going to need brake cleaner. And then to finish it off, some high temperature spray paint. Instead of using just the sandpaper, I'm going to use a grinder too. This is going to help out. You don't need to use this, I just have it, so I might as well use it. It's going to help me speed up the process and it's going to help me clean the rust off better. So we're going to hit this with the brake clean. Don't be afraid to use a lot. You see how I have the brake drum tilted so all the bad stuff runs down. I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. I actually started sanding it a little bit just to see what it looked like and it's definitely pretty good to sand. Again, it's at an angle so that all the dirty oils and everything that the brake cleaner cleans off runs downwards. So after spraying it with brake cleaner, we'll go start sanding. Now we're going to start the sanding process. We're going to take our wire brush and just get anywhere that we see loose rust. So I'm going to go all inside here. There's a lot. So you can see all the rust already, and that means you're doing a good job. You want to use this where you can't get your sandpaper easily, so in each of these crevices here, you want to use it. After you get all of these and break up the big pieces of rust in each of these, you want to get in here and just get any dirt, any rust pieces, any big chunks that are in here. So you can see again, even more rust, so we're doing a good job. One thing. That nice freshly turned surface that you have in here, you don't want to touch. You do not want to get any abrasives in here at all. When we finish with this, start using some sandpaper. And with the sandpaper, you want to get the surface to look like this. This is going to take you the most amount of time. I'll probably put it on a fast forward so you can see the whole process. I'm actually going to use a grinder now. You don't have to use this. This is just going to speed up my work a lot. When you're using the grinder, there's going to be a lot of dust, there's going to be a lot of noise, and there's going to be sparks. So use your earplugs, use your eye protection, and use a dust mask. Don't breathe this stuff in. It has brake dust, it has rust, it's not good stuff to breathe in. So remember, whether you're sanding or using your grinder or whatever, you don't want to nick the surface that was turned. If you nick that surface, then it's going to be garbage. You just wasted your money. When I'm doing this, this isn't taking that much material off, and that's important. You don't want to change any clearancing, but you do want to get the rust off. This surface is nice and smooth. This is good. In here is good. I just need to hit it with some brake cleaner. So now we're gonna just hit it with one last spray of brake clean. Make sure you use a lot. Get all that rust off. So now we're gonna get some painter's tape. We're gonna go along and tape the inside. So we don't want any spray paint on the surface of the drum that touches the, the brake shoes. Okay, the taping is complete. You can see it covers the whole surface here and it goes all the way around. Now I can spray paint anything I want and it'll be okay. So let's go start spray painting. So make sure you follow the directions on your can of spray paint. This is high temperature spray paint. That's good for the first coat. Now we'll let it dry for 15 minutes and we'll spray another coat. 15 minutes have elapsed. Now I'm gonna take this and just turn it so that if I'm missing anything on the bottom, now I'll have it on the top and vice versa.
good. Now I'm gonna go wait 30 minutes, let it completely dry to the touch, and flip it over and do the other side. So now half an hour later, it's dried to the touch. We're gonna flip it. Now we're gonna let that dry. So remember when you're spray painting, it's important to do a nice even coat. And you start spraying from the outside, and end spraying on the outside. And you don't focus the point at one spot, because then it'll pool. And don't worry about getting it on nice and thick. You want to do smooth layers that aren't thick. Then you could do multiple coats. One last coat, and we're done. We'll check out the final product once it's dry. Okay, after letting it dry for a couple of hours, here's our final product. You're gonna to wanna to take the tape off from the inside. Okay, you get all the tape off. Look at that. That looks really good. It's gonna last on the car, and that's all that matters. That's how you refurbish a brake drum so that you could use it on your car or truck again. Costs 20 bucks. Get nice high temperature paint. Got it resurfaced on the inside. Looks good. If you like this video, click like, and subscribe if you want some more how-to videos. And I'll put up some how-to videos up on the screen. And you could click those or there's a link in the description for each of those videos if you can't click them. 